Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV, I'm Brett. This week is a new release from Jinx World, which has now moved over to DC Comics. Now, for those who don't know Jinx World, that's the imprint of Brian Michael Bendis. He's had some amazing comics out of it. Powers, Scarlet, and this new series, Pearl, where he reteams with Michael Gatos. A uh, longtime uh, uh, collaborator, they worked on Jessica Jones, and uh, also Joshua Reed is on lettering. So, Pearl... It is an interesting comic, it uh, has, seems to have to do with uh, Yakuza, and the mob, and a girl who's really into tattoos, and the guy she meets, and it's interesting. Um, yeah, like, there's nothing bad with the comic, Let's go with that, to begin with. It's just, uh, there's nothing also that really hooks me and gets me super excited about it either. It's a good comic. It's not a great comic, and there's not quite enough in this first issue that really gets me hooked to be excited for the second, third, fourth, or fifth. Um, though I'm going to go and sit around, I definitely want to read what comes next, because I have a feeling that the overall arc and trade that eventually comes out is going to be much better than the individual parts. Uh, the story itself introduces us to Pearl and uh, her tattoo and uh, this guy she meets, and there's kind of a gang war that start, that happens, and um, basically it sets a lot of things up, and it's interesting in that kind of, you know, character study sort of way. Um, I think my issue with it is that it feels very Brian Michael Bendis in that we've seen this many times. Uh, I feel like we've seen this with Jessica Jones, we've seen this with Scarlet, and it's nothing, not that those were bad series at all, it's just... There's not enough out of this that really gets me excited and feels original um, to get me to come back. I think we've seen this type of story before done by other folks, done better in the first issue. Um, and who knows, like what comes next might be absolutely amazing and blow the world away. And uh, it's just kind of the first issue was eh. Uh, but that's the story. The art is a whole other thing. And Michael Gatos' art is... Uh, amazing is the the best way of, of putting it. Um, you know that is not not shocking at all. Show off some of the art. You can see uh, the color palette's very limited as to what's uh, what's in there. Uh, this is not a comic that's super color, uh, colorful. The the palette's very muted, very limited. Uh, not necessarily a bad thing at all. Lots of blues, lots of greens, uh, a little bit of red, and of course, you know, you got your blacks and whites, but a lot of blues, lots of greens. Kind of, I think the color really kind of pushes, uh, shows you what, uh, what that color interior is going to be like. Um, so the art is gorgeous. And in some ways, the comic's worth picking up just for the art alone. Um, I think it's just the story. Like, it's not bad at all. It's a decent read. It's just for being Bendis' kind of like a launch of Jinx World under DC, it's not quite enough to get me super excited for what's to come. Um, still, like, again, it's not bad. Uh, so yeah, I mean, that's kind of where I'm at with it. Like, if you're a real fan of Brian Michael Bendis, if you enjoy Jessica Jones, if you enjoyed Scarlet, some of his other works, Power, or something like that, you're going to probably dig this. Uh, if you want to start, there's other series to start. So, yeah, I think that's kind of where I'm at. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I'm, I'm going to wait and read and see where this goes. Hopefully the trade's better, the big picture's better than the individual parts. That's kind of what I'm expecting here. I think Bendis generally is in that department as far as a writer where the, the whole is better than the individual. So we'll, we'll see if that's the case here. Um, but this is out in comic shops this week. You can go get it. Go support your local comic book shop first and foremost. Uh, we got a link beneath this video. You can go put in your zip code. It'll tell you the shops near you. If there's no shop, no problem. Uh, we also have got some affiliate links that uh, there are affiliate links. We do get a small percentage, but you should go support your comic book shop first and foremost. Like they are the bread and butter. They are the backbone of the comic industry. Without them, the comics wouldn't be the same. So go support your comic book shop. Um, and if they don't have it, ask them to order it, and then go use the affiliate links. Uh, um, 
I want to thank DC Comics for hooking us up with this review copy. As always, much appreciated for your support, and thank you for watching and your support. Uh, if you're into DC, if you're into Jake's World, if you're into comics in general, Brian Michael Bennis, Michael Gatos, you can check us out every single day, every day at graphicpolicy.com, or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics, and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.